Hi, today we are going to learn space complexity in a Turing machine. So space complexity is number of cells in Turing machine. If there is a function f or if there is a problem or language that we have implemented in Turing machine, so number of cells that is a square is a space complexity. How much cells are used? So this is the complexity chain L for logarithmic space NL this is also logarithmic but non-deterministic Turing machine P and P we have already learned there is a P space that is above to NP polynomial space and above polynomial space that is also equal to N space there is an exponential space mean if some algorithm required exponential space that will occur in this column this place so this is the chain so if we can see l is subset of nl subset of p p is subset of np subset of p space that is also as a n space equivalent to n space and the largest space is taken by exponential space so what is L space? So before learning L space, let's understand measuring a space. A Turing machine M run in space F of S of N if for all inputs of length N, M uses at most S N cells in total on it work tape. So if input of length n, so machine m uses s of n cells, this is space. So through this we can calculate space used in Turing machine. Said problem can be decided in linear space. Satisfiability, the problem we have seen in last class, that can be decided in linear space and this problem will be implemented in Boolean expression. So what is P space and logarithmic space? Logarithmic space in the class L is a set of problems solvable in log N space by deterministic Turing machine. And the class NL is a set of problems solvable in a logarithmic space by non-deterministic Turing machine. So this is difference between class L and class NL. The polynomial space, which is P space, is a set of languages that can be decided in polynomial space. And that is analogous to P. N space, it is a set of languages that can be decided in polynomial space by non-deterministic Turing machine. And normally P space are equivalent to N space because if non-deterministic machine, Turing machine or deterministic Turing machine have used the cells, then we can see that the near board they are equivalent. So P space, we have learned this definition. Similar to NP hard and NPL complete, P space is also had P space hard and P space complete. The example if we see for P space is N cross N chess board and you have to assume polynomial upper bound on number moves decide whether which has winning strategy. The P space is equal to C is a configuration that is greater than equal to greater than zero and a space N cross C analogous to P and N space is equal to all the set of C is greater than or equal to 0 and space N power C that is analogous to N P. Now let's understand here in this N cross N chess polynomial space if it is 8 cross 8 chess board its polynomial time will be 1. For set it it is solved in linear time so its polynomial representation is big O of n space. Now let's understand class NL. 
a language l that belongs to 0 comma 1 closer is in nl if there exists a polynomial p such that n determines n and a deterministic Turing machine m using at most log of x space on its read or write tape for every input x and m has a certificate such that x belongs to 0 comma 1 closer. There is np completeness a language a is nl complete if a belongs to nl similar to np complete we can understand nl complete for every b in nl and b is reducible to a and class nl is similar to np where there is a certifier that will certify the big o of log of x space on its read or write tape for every input of x so this is space complexity thank you